Hi guys. It's going to be a long one, I think. We have got a coffee. And because it's a special occasion, because I think this is going to be an extremely interesting um, morning in the UK, I got myself a honey tea. And I never put honey in my tea because it goes against my diet, but it's a celebration. Right, let's see who we got. Um, I'm not really sure where to start. Um, I'll just quickly say hello to everyone. It's Louis in the Southwest UK near Bristol, and I am an Elvis fan through and through, and I have been for over 50 years, and we are here to defend Elvis Presley. We are here to defend Elvis Presley. That's why we're all together. We have Team Elvis, um, and we come together to try and expose the truth about Elvis so that Elvis isn't constantly being run down by millions and millions of people because people have been misinformed about Elvis and we're going to do our best to put them right. So I've been, I have messaged a few of you. Deborah has been talking to me and helping me. And uh, someone like Sue has been talking to me and helping me. And we've got Naja as well. Uh, I want to thank everyone. Now, let's have a look. I know that, let me just get my, let's have a look. Actually, let me just get my, actually, actually, no, sorry, it's been Sue that has been, let's have a look. Let me just get the, let me just get the right messages up. So I've been, yeah, I've been messaging a few of you. Right, yes, Deborah. Deborah has been digging for documents. Deborah went to sleep and has woke back up. Now, as the title suggests, it says that Bridget Cruz, who is in a lawsuit against Priscilla Presley, and obviously there's more than one lawsuit, there's a countersuit from Priscilla Presley claiming elder abuse. Now, in the middle of the night, I was contacted through our channel. And I think the contact wasn't just for me. It was for, for the Elvis fans. And I'll read that to you in a minute. This isn't about me. This is about, I think, Bridget Cruz's and her auction company reaching out to say, um, this is the truth. And then she explains it to me. She also praises our channel, which I love. Um, and Bridget Cruz, if you're watching this, thank you for reaching out to the Elvis fans. Um, and we're going to go through a few bits today. I want to introduce the viewers, you know, the subscribers, the, the members, and Team Elvis, because we are Team Elvis. We are Elvis defenders. And I can tell Bridget Cruz is a genuine Elvis fan. I can tell from what I've been, I've been watching interviews with Bridget Cruz. And um, so I, what I wanted to do whilst you guys are watching, so let me just quickly say who's here. It's Linda, and Nadia, Patricia, and Malti, Diane, Tammy. Tammy's a new name. Hi, Tammy. Welcome to our little family. And we've got Deborah, of course, Jane, Let's have a look. I think quite a few members on today. Don't forget, guys, I love you being members. Please become members. And for anyone up watching right now, please subscribe. It's so important because 78% of you do not subscribe. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. When I got this message in the middle of the night from Bridget Cruz from her um, from her video channel, I was a bit taken aback. I was surprised that she'd reached out to us in this way, but I'm so glad she did. Uh, my guess is that she feels that she has been wronged and she and she's, I think, indirectly asking for our help, I think. Now, let me just, what I want to do now while we're on together, I want to message Bridget Cruz and ask her to join on this live feed. So Bridget Cruz, if you're watching now, or, or if you're an associate of Bridget Cruz and you work for her auction company and you're representing her channel, please join in. Please make yourself known. We, we, we will be respectful and polite to you. You can join in on the conversation and 
and you will be very welcomed. So I'm going to go to the messages. I'm going to read out the message to you in a minute. Right, so let's have a look. Right, so I have, you know, we, so I, I'll, I'll read it in a second, but we first got this very long message from Bridget Cruz's YouTube channel. A very nice, polite message. Let me just... Right, my brother, I'm going to see if my brother will join us. Right, so, as I was saying, so are you there, Bridget Cruz? If you're not, don't worry, because you'll probably watch this later. Now, she has made it clear... Bridget has made it clear that she watches our channel and she loves our channel. She's made that very clear. Right, I've got to find the blooming message again now. Let's have a look. Right, here we are. So I got the message, guys. Hi, Linda. Hi, Helen. Morning to all of you guys. Now, I'll try and cut a long story short. Um, there is a lawsuit that's been ongoing with Bridget Cruz. She, the bottom line is, to cut it short, they had contracts, her and Priscilla had contracts signed, and Priscilla um, has gone back on the contracts and is acting like the contracts um, was a big con and that she didn't know what she was signing. Bridget feels that she's owed compensation because Bridget feels that she helped her out of a very bad position, out of a deep hole to do with uh, tax debt, to do with her income generation had massively dropped because she had become so unpopular. And then Bridget Cruz came up with a survival plan to completely help Priscilla and transform her finances. And Priscilla is ghosting Bridget. Now, Bridget is a very, very, very successful self-made millionaire i would say um her auction company gws auctions is phenomenal and i mean if you it's very very impressive if you go onto her youtube channel which is called bridget cruise um and i'll just show you the logo that she uses on her auction channel let's have a look let me get it up Actually, let me just quickly, before I do that, let me just quickly message Bridget to say to join our live. Yeah, let's have a look. Please join. I'll just say to, I'm going to message her now saying, please join our live. Please join our live stream. Let's see. You never know. Please join our live stream now. Right. So I'll, I'll send her more than one because she sent... She sent me a few comments. Yes. So uh, I think my brother's going to join us. Are you there, bro? Right. Let's have a look. Let's just click on all the messages. Right. Please join our live stream now. Right. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to read you the messages that we received seven hours ago. Uh, my brother's on. Hi, Andreas. Now, remember, when we talk now, we have to cover our backs. We don't want to get ourselves in any legal problems. So this is all opinions, hearsay, and just what we think as a collective group um, and I'm not going to take sides. I'm just going to go through the message. I'm also going to um, talk about the two lawsuits. And I'm going to do it in a respectful way. Um, now, we know on this channel, we are very loyal to Elvis. So we have strong opinions about um, Priscilla Presley and, her, and the things that have been said for the last 40, 50 years. I think we're allowed to have opinions as long as we are respectful and we do it in a in a nice way. So, OK, so at seven in the morning, Bridget Cruz 
messaged our channel. I'm so glad that she reached out to our channel because she could have reached out to any channel. And let me just, uh, I want to show you the logo of her channel so you can look up, so you can go to her channel and look it up. Uh, her channel is just called Bridget Cruz. Uh, let me just, right, here we go. Let me just, I want to blow up the logo. Right. So say hello to my brother. Andreas is here. So her channel logo is. There we go. There we go, guys. So when you're looking for the YouTube channel, I'll tell you what, it's very, very, very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's actually surprisingly interesting because the amount of different items that are auctioned off but also you have some a couple of small interviews with Bridget Cruz I found some interviews with Bridget Cruz that completely explains how she kept really went from rags to riches and her and her partner started the Bridget Cruz auction company GWS from a garage could you imagine that just an idea in a garage and going from where she was, you know, um, taking that big gamble. And then now she literally is a multimillionaire mixing with celebrities, including people like Robert De Niro. Yeah. And so she has, how can I say it? She is a definitely an entrepreneur that took many risks, took massive gambles and it's paid off. And she has been extremely successful and very ambitious. I, I call her the female Colonel Tom Parker because she's very extravagant in how she dresses, how her hair is. Um, now, when you listen to her personality and the way she talks to people, she's very respectful, very well-mannered. She's always got a friendly smile on her face and talks to anyone that interviews her with total respect. And I spent my morning watching interviews with Bridget Cruz with different people. And she does come across as a very, very polite ambitious lady that with her feet on the ground but yes she's a pizzazz character she's larger than life a female colonel tom parker anyway i don't want to bore you anymore let's read the comment have any of you read the comment on in the comments in our on our channel i did send um a few of you the comments i sent i think deborah and sue Kathy, I think, but I know Kathy's going through a tough time at the moment. No, oh yeah, Naja. So a bit of a surprise. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Now I'm going to read the stuff, then I'm going to play you some videos. Yeah, a bit, a bit of a surprise, guys. You know, we're just a small, humble channel, and uh, we're very proud of our channel. But I just, I am very chuffed that she reached out to our channel, our lovely channel, our family. And if you, when I read the message, it really does show that she cares what the fans think. She does care, I can tell. And she's definitely an Elvis fan, guys. So, yeah, well, it seems that way. But I'm very, I'm very humble, me. I'm like, I can't believe that our channel is becoming so well known. I'm so surprised. Right, anyway, let's read it because I'm waffling. Bridget Cruz, seven hours ago. There are FAA documents that prove EP owns the plane. Right. Just so you know, we did, two, I think, two live streams. Um, one of them was called Priscilla Presley Auctions. Um, and is it fraud? But we did two live streams talking about the lawsuits, um, whether or not the items that have been auctioned were genuine. Yeah, because we're just asking the question. We don't know. They were talking about the jacket and they were talking about the jet. Um, so which the jet is well known. It's all over YouTube. Oh, everyone, this is a very, very world famous jet. So we know the storylines. We've seen the news clips. Um, it's all, everyone's talking about it all over the world. NBC have made a massive story about it. We, and most Elvis fans will, um, will understand what's happening. But I will go through that again. So let's just do it. So there are FAA 
Right, this is from Bridget Cruz. There are FAA documents that prove EP owned the plane and that the plane was in his name. We truly care about the legacy of Elvis. Now, listen to these bits. Very important. We truly care about the legacy of Elvis. And she, it says we. So I think um, she's speaking on behalf of herself and her company and her partner. That's what I think. We do more research. Right, let's have a look. We do more research than what is ethically required according to industry standards. Now, I think she's trying to support the eth what's the word when you she's trying to say, I don't even want to say the words, the authenticity of the items that go up in her auction, in her auction. Right. We do more research than what is ethically required according to industry standards. We love the Elvis fans and all of the research we do is because we they inspire us with their love and passion. Did you hear that? This is important, guys. This is why she's reached out to an Elvis channel. We love the Elvis fans. Um, all of the research we do is because they inspire us with the love and passion. Okay? It's very clear that what we all think as Elvis fans on all the channels and all around the world really matters to GWS Auctions and Bridget Cruz and her team and her partner. NBC cut the interview, but I actually have a recording of the entire interview. Now, she is giving us inside information here because obviously we know about the NBC interview around the world. It's got Joe Weishanker in it. Uh, it's quite shocking, very interesting. Now, we are getting inside information here directly from Bridget Cruz, in my opinion, based on this comment from her channel. Um, right, NBC cut the interview. So she's saying that NBC didn't show the whole of the interview, but I actually have a recording of the entire interview. More insider information. NBC cut out the factual portions that explain everything. So we want to see the factual portions that explain everything. So I can see she's saying her side of the story hasn't been completely shared correctly. There's parts missing. Um, right, let's keep going. Here we go. Now, she's given us inside information here with NBC, but I actually have a recording of the entire interview. Now, we, as Elvis fans, would like to see that recording of the entire interview. Do you agree, guys? Because if NBC have only shown one section of it, we want to see it all. And Bridget Cruz herself has said she's got the long version. Right. So, Bridget, if you're watching this, we'd love to see the whole interview. Um, I'll say it again, but I actually have a recording of the entire interview. NBC cut out the factual portions that explain everything. Now, that's important, guys. If parts of the interview from NBC have been cut out and they are factual portions, so we know the whole story, we need to see that interview. And the fact that Bridget Cruz is letting us know is very important. She didn't have to. Bridget Cruz didn't have to reach out like this. Right. And I thank you, Bridget, for doing this. Right. Let's have a look. We also have a Dropbox link readily available that was shared with NBC ahead of the interview. Now, I'm not really sure what. No, I know what a Dropbox link is. Now, I ask you, Bridget Cruz, if you're watching this. Please, can you send us a link for the Dropbox link that's ready available that was shared with NBC ahead of the interview? So you're basically saying the information you gave to NBC, we can get to it on a Dropbox link. So please help us find that link so we can, as Elvis fans, because we, we've all got Elvis's heart at interest, can see what you, you know, your, all the facts, all the facts, yeah? 
And then it says a Dropbox link that was readily available that was shared with NBC ahead of the interview. This is really important, guys. And then it says right after they left Graceland. So that tells us that NBC were filming at Graceland. Yeah. So I'll read that last bit again. That explains everything. We also have a Dropbox link readily available that was shared with NBC ahead of the interview right after they left Graceland. So we know that NBC were at Graceland. And that must be when they were talking to Joe Weishanker. Yeah? Do we? And Joe Weishanker, we know, is basically the owner of Elvis Presley Enterprises. So he owns 85% of Elvis Presley Enterprises. I know there's other companies and other people involved. But he's the guru, you know, the boss of EPE. And I will say this. I've watched many interviews with Joel Weishanker, and he does come across as a very genuine guy, that he truly does love Elvis and Riley and the twins and the legacy and the image and the memory. Everything Elvis, Joel Weishanker is a fan. He is a true fan. I really have picked up on that. Uh, it's To me, in my opinion, it's obvious he's upset with all of this that's going on with these artefacts. Um, so who started this situation to, to talk about these auction items? I don't know. It could have been Joel. I don't know. We don't really know, do we? It, may, it could have even been Riley because Graceland is mentioned. We don't know. Did Riley Keough instruct all this to happen with NBC? Was it Joel Weishanker? I don't know. Don't know. He does seem genuine. Yeah, as far as we know, Bridget has recorded everything when it comes to the signing of the contract. Right, so we'll, let's keep going. Um, right, so with verified... Right, I'll, I'll go back a bit. Right. I, I'll go back a bit so we so it sounds more fluid. NBC cut out the factual portions of that explained everything. We also have a Dropbox link ready available that was shared with NBC ahead of the interview right after they left Graceland with verified letters of authenticity and multiple letters of authenticity in some cases. So Bridget Cruz is saying that they've got all the evidence, the documents, the letters, the letters of authenticity. So what she's saying from what I can see, and Bridget, is this correct? What you're saying is that you can prove the authenticity of all the items that you sell in your auction, GWS auctions. And I'd love to see these letters. I'd love any proof that backs up your lawsuit with Priscilla is welcomed, is welcomed. Right, right, let's have a look. Now, so then she goes on to say, that she, she, you know, she specifically says every single item, every single item. Right. So we have multiple layers of authenticity in some cases on every single Elvis item that we have ever sold. That's very important. Don't forget, this is what the whole lawsuit is about when it comes to. Let's have a look. Actually, no, no, I need to step back. No, no. We're not talking about the lawsuit now. We're talking about, sorry, I take back that. We're not talking about a lawsuit. We're talking about, um, so I've, I've, I've missed the boat a bit. We're talking about the news clip, NBC's news clip, and they're giving the impression that some of the items sold by GWS um, auctions um, are not genuine, are not authentic. Let's put the let's put the lawsuits to one side. Sorry, I got all mixed up then. And let's talk about what. Right, shh, shh, you gotta be quiet a minute. Yeah, go and get them to sort it. We're talking about um, my lovely boy has just woke up. <laughs> He's upstairs. Hmm. Right, I didn't. I got myself all mixed up then. Sorry, guys. The whole point here is Bridget Cruz is saying, okay, right, I'll sing a song. Yeah, later. 
No, no, I'm no, because no, I'm talking to people. Right, here we are. Go sit with mummy. I'll come and see you. He's so cute. Adorable. Right. No, right. Okay, let's get things right. Sorry, I got all mixed up. This particular message is all about Bridget Cruz showing that the items that are sold in her auction are authentic and she can prove it. Okay, we'll talk about the lawsuits separately. Right, okay. I repeat, this, what we're talking about now is about proving the authenticity of the items that have been auctioned by Bridget Cruz's company, GWS Auctions, and she is saying she has letters of authenticity in for every item. Right, okay. I apologize for mixing it all up. Right, let's have a look. We have been in this space for 15 years, and I've watched the interviews. They came literally from nowhere, starting in their garage. They've been doing it for 15 years, which is very impressive, guys. Bearing in mind the success that she's having is, whew, Unbelievable. She's she's a celebrity in her own right. I keep saying it. She is a female Colonel Tom Parker. She's like very pizzazzy, very showmany, I think. I think, Bridget, yeah. Uh, right, here we go. Let's go back. We gave this to NBC and they did not air that. We gave this to NBC and they did not air that. She's talking about the, the, the letters of authenticity. Now, she clearly is saying that she feels that NBC left things out, which, which I'm guessing she feels have made her, her company look bad. Just an opinion, because it makes people think that some of her items are either fake or... Um, there's questions on whether or not they're truly authentic. So this is why she's reaching out to the fans as well, to us guys. Um, so Elvis, right, so, that's, so I'll read that whole sentence again. We gave this to NBC and they did not air that. We have been in the space for 15 years and we have never been sued over selling fake items i repeat that bridget cruz says to us we have never been accused of selling fake items we have never been sued for selling fake items and this is true isn't it i'm pretty sure this is true because i don't know of anyone suing gws auctions for selling fake items Graceland's Auctions is no longer in business. So I didn't even know there must be a company called Graceland's Auctions. She's saying they're no longer in business. My guess is that Graceland's had an auction company that sold American items. I'm just guessing. But we are still here for a reason. We also what? So she's saying she's proudly saying that they GWS Auctions are still going strong. And we also want the fans to know that we have only ever sold items from private collections. So she, I'll, I'll, I'll repeat that. She is saying, we, um, we also want fans to know that we are only ever sold items from private collections. So Bridget Cruz is saying this to you, to all the Elvis fans, to all the Elvis channels, to all the Elvis fans around the world that we only ever sold private items. And I think the reason she's saying that is because she knows that Elvis fans are not happy if anything that belonged to Elvis is being sold by Graceland or Elvis Presley Enterprises. Because us fans, we want everything to be kept by either EPE or Graceland, you know, or Riley Q, yeah? So she's saying that the stuff that they sold was only ever privately owned. So that's okay, because if... You know, over the last 50 years, 50, 60 years, people have been able to collect items from Elvis Presley, you know, whether it's signatures or cars or planes, whatever, items of clothing, could be scarves, couldn't it? She's saying it's all come from private collectors, which then gives the opportunity for anyone to buy these items. I think one of her stories 
that Bridget um, Cruz gives is that she held an auction uh, on behalf of, I'm just trying to think, uh, Robert De Niro was involved and he offered to allow her to stay in his suite. And as a thank you, she bought an item, a collector's item from an auction and gave it to Robert De Niro as a gift, as a thank you, because he had been so kind to her. Um, so you can look this up in an interview. Right. I think that's quite a, quite a point. It's, I think when you read this message, you clearly, clearly understand that she is trying to keep the fans happy. She, she wants to say what she feels the fans expect of her. So genuine items, only selling items that are privately owned. And that she just wants the fans to be happy. And then she says, only ever sold items from private collections and nothing directly procured from Graceland. She clearly is saying that she never sold anything that came from Graceland. Anything that came from Graceland. Um, us fans want that. Us fans don't want anyone buying things from Graceland. We want anything, any artifacts, any memorabilia, any genuine items, anything that was built up from the 50s, because Elvis always saved everything, the Cur uh, even the Colonel, even Tom Parker, even Vernon, they always saved everything, they documented everything. Vernon was very good, he would document every item. He was really good like that. Um, and they, and she is saying, nothing, Bridget Cruz, is this correct, if you're watching now? Nothing directly procured from Greystand. We work for the fans and collectors. I repeat, we work for the fans and collectors, not Elvis Presley M Enterprises, period. So she is distancing herself from Elvis Presley Enterprises, Joel Weishenker. Because don't forget, it seems to me that it's Joel Weishenker that is accusing that these items may, may be fake. Yeah. I'm not going to comment too much on Joel Weishenker because I don't know his side of the story. The only thing we know about Joel Weishenker is that um, there's a possibility, just an opinion, that he went to NBC. It sounds to me like NBC approached Bridget Cruz to get her side of events as well. Just in our opinion. Is that correct, Bridget? OK, so obviously I get that message. Um, in the middle of the night. So I, at first I'm like, is this Bridget Cruz? Is this, is it Bridget Cruz or is it a representative of her company, her YouTube channel? So at first I reply, thank you so much for this information. I will let everyone know on our channel, is this Bridget? Then I say, good luck with everything. And what, what I mean by good luck with everything, I mean, um, you're in a you know you're in, t in in a lawsuit and Priscilla is counter suing so good luck with that. Let's get to the bottom of things now. I'll give you my opinion, guys, on the lawsuit. I feel how can I say this? I'll backtrack a bit. Um, after learning everything that we know about the original lawsuit that was served on Priscilla by Bridget Cruz and her partner. Is it Kevin? Oh, I forget his name now. Bridget Cruz's partner, anyway. Um, to me, it seems. I'll just quickly check your messages. I think. Well, that message to me, Naja, it's it's got to be Bridget because of the way it's it's. Every single point in that message feels like it's coming from Bridget. It does, because she she's trying to clear her name. She's trying to get the facts out there. She's even telling us how to find stuff, which you'll see in a minute. So I just write, good luck with everything because of the lawsuits. And before I start talking about the lawsuits, let's move to the next message. So then, three, then four hours after that, she writes, please review the contracts in the public filing of the FL lawsuits. 80% is wrong. You should ask Bridget Cruz's publicist for an interview. Now, this is the bit that confuses me. 
you should ask Bridget Cruz's publicist for an interview. And that is what makes me think, is this Bridget Cruz or is this um, someone on behalf of Bridget Cruz? So we're not clear here. So then I obviously now the 80 percent thing that comes up is this. Is the the counter sue that Priscilla Presley has done with Bridget Cruz is saying that she was conned into signing an 80 20 deal. So basically 80 percent for Bridget Cruz, 20 percent for um, Priscilla, that which to, obviously to any person on the street will go, will say, that's unfair. Any person on the, yeah. So, but this is in Priscilla Presley's counter suit for a million dollars for elder abuse. And she basically says, Priscilla is basically saying, I was conned. Yeah. Now the other lawsuits are different. The lawsuit that Bridget Cruz uh, served on Priscilla, she feels she's owed compensation because of all the contracts that Priscilla signed, is it uh, Priscilla Presley Partners was created as well. So Bridget Cruz is saying that Priscilla completely reneged on everything and ghosted her and doesn't reply to any of her messages and owes her loads of money. That's what Bridget Cruz is basically saying, to cut a long story short. And then Priscilla Presley has come back with this counter sue and said, no, no, this is elder abuse. I've been completely ripped off. And she accuses Bridget Cruz and her three partners, because there's four people in Priscilla Presley's counter suit, and she's probably used quite a high-powered attorney to do this. And so Priscilla is basically saying, I was ripped off. It's elder abuse. Um, you owe me a million dollars in compensation. That's what she's saying. I'm sure they'll both be using very high-powered attorneys. Do not blame them, yeah? So I thank her. Then I thank her for advice because she says, please review the contracts in the public filings of FL lawsuit. So I'd have to look into that. Now, she's saying she's basically saying to me, I think there was 12 contracts, I think, that were witnessed when they were signed. I think Bridget Cruz was even present when they were signed. Is that right, Bridget? Were you there when they were signed? Um, were, Bridget Cruz, if you're watching this, did you record when she signed the contracts, you could answer these questions if you want in the comments, if you don't mind, respectfully. Um, so then. So then I say. I'm just thanking her for reaching out and giving us this information. I do ask her how I can I do say, how do I find these contracts in FL lawsuits? So I have no idea. And then I've now asked her to do, I've now asked her to join our live stream. It's possible Bridget is watching. Bridget, are you watching? Please make yourself known. You're very welcome. Um, anyone else that has joined us, there's 27 people watching now. Please subscribe. It's really important. Please hit the like button. If you want to join in on our conversation, we have a lovely family here. We have Team Elvis. We are Team Elvis. We come together to defend Elvis's legacy memory and we have live streams every day every day and we're, we're at we've become close friends and um, it's not just about me this is a family of members and subscribers hi guiana guiana thanks for the coffee you bought me the other day thank you i wanted to thank you personally thanks for the coffee guys if any of you want to buy me a coffee Hit the coffee button. I love a coffee. Right, let's have a look. So Guiana says, Graceland possesses the jumpsuit that Elvis Presley actually wore in his show. There might be a spare jumpsuit that look the same and that were taken to the shows and are authentic. Okay. Fair comment, Guiana. And good morning to you from the UK. And Guiana, what time is it where you are? Naja says I, I can contact um, Bridget Cruz. Do you know what? This has all been quite a surprise to me. I don't actually know where I'm going to go with it. Still, I, I haven't been awake for long. <laughs> Let's have a look. So just quickly go through your comments. Yep, uh, Naja, I know they were close friends, and I'm, I'm going to show you some clips now. 
So Joe Washington def definitely thinks it's fake. This is what Naja says. Naja is saying that she only sells for private collectors, which is better because it gives Elvis Presley Enterprises and Graceland's Riley Q the, the chance to buy them back. I'm just quickly just scanning through. Uh, Naja says, says, how can we prove the authenticity of the letters? Well, I'm sure... I would say this, that there must be a way to prove authenticity of letters with checking the signatures, the handwriting, the paper. There's, there's going to be a way. Sue says she doesn't think that um, Bridget Cruz would risk her reputation by selling items that she can't prove are genuine. I agree. They're such a massive, successful company. Now, we were given the impression that they were getting together and Priscilla was giving her name to certain items um, to boost its value so that it gets more money. Now, this is just hearsay. and But that is the impression that we're given from the NBC news clip, isn't it? Do you guys agree that that's how it came across with NBC and the news clip? Um, right, OK. Now, let's just get a feel, because eventually, eventually, guys, the kids are going to come down and get noisy. So I'm definitely going to do a part two and a part three of this. I'm also going to do a proper video that I'm going to post on my channel that is not a live stream as well, because I think it's too important. So I did just quickly want to give you guys a feel for Bridget Cruz and her personality. Um, I hope Bridget Cruz doesn't mind. Right. Let's just now. I found a web uh, a, a video channel on YouTube from a Jason Rosk, Jason Rosk video channel. I don't know who Jason Rosk is, but Jason, I hope you don't mind me using a few clips from your channel because I just wanted to show a few things so we get a basic idea. What your history led you to become a right. Why don't you give us a little bit? I wanted to just get a basic idea of Bridget Cruz, her personality, how she started. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to hold the phone, so I'm going to be a bit wobbly. Oh, thanks, Sue. Thanks for joining in. Good luck, Sue, at a and &E. oh, I hope you get some decent pain medication, Sue. Sending you lots of love, Sue. Right. So we've got 29 people watching now. Please subscribe, guys. Please subscribe. Really important. Then when we get live streams, if you hit the notification bell, we all come together. Now, I'm guessing it's the early hours of the morning for many of you, maybe the middle of the night. So if you're waking up to watch this, I really appreciate it. And if you're waking up later, especially America, because it's the middle of the night for you. Good morning to you, and I hope you enjoy this live stream. Team Elvis are here. Now, some of you have got better time zones, like people like Nadia. Some of you are in the UK. Uh, Guiana is in Brazil, and it's 6 a.m. Well, that's not too bad, 6 a.m. Thanks for joining us. Guys, just quickly let me know what time it is where you are and what country you're in so that everyone knows um, where you are. Now, I'm going to start playing a few clips. So Maria is in Australia at 7 p.m. Maria, I've heard that Australia is freezing cold at the moment. Is this true? Australia is freezing. Yep, Guiana's an early bird. Right, just, right, just one second before I play that.
and the warm. Sorry about that. I'm going to quickly warm my tea. So, very, very interesting, guys. Very interesting. I did not expect it. Completely out of the blue. I'm so pleased that uh, Bridget or, or her associates have reached out. So pleased. Now, is it definitely Bridget? I don't know. But it doesn't matter because it's her YouTube channel and, she, and her associates that represent her um, have reached out to us. So, it, the, that long message does seem to me like it came from Bridget. It does. Because the things that are being said in that message are quite inside information. They're quite... They're things that only people on the inside of Bridget Cruz's uh, business world would know, I think. That's just my opinion. So, I do want you guys to get a feel for Bridget Cruz. So I do want to sort of understand her personality, where she's coming from, how she got started in business, um, the type of person she is, you know, what her motives in life are. So, that's where we are, guys. I've got some nice little clips for you. I'm just going to keep going until the kids come down and drive me mad, and then I'll sign off. It's a Sunday morning, so we can, we can uh, take it easy. And my wife is upstairs watching Love Island. So, I can't watch Love Island, guys. I, I don't like cheesy programs like Love Island. I can't bear them. Cannot bear them. So, but obviously my wife loves them. Right, it's warming up these teas because we're going to still be here a bit longer yet, guys. Sorry about this. Uh, is my brother still there? Andreas, are you still there? M0FXB. Andreas, are you still there? Right. He probably isn't because he's got his own channel called M0FXB, um, which keeps him very busy. Are you still there, bro, or not? Probably not. Right. Okay. Let's keep going. Sorry about that. So let me just, oh yeah, I'll quickly check the times over here. Let's have a look, sorry. Uh, huh, let's go back a bit. So we have, Guyana is an early bird, yep. In, uh, so Malti, it's 2 a.m. Uh, Naja, it's 11 a.m. Um, Deborah, it's 4 a.m. In the UK, Linda is in the UK, 10 a.m., yep. Adrian is in the UK, so it's 10. So Jane is in Spain, it's 11. I think Deborah has. Deborah got up. I messaged Deborah in the middle of the night. <laughs> Sorry, I probably interrupted her sleep. So we've got Julia Balissario. Is that a new person? Julia, welcome to our family. Hi, Julia. I'm really pleased you joined us. Uh, so uh, it's 5 a.m. 5 in Georgia. So we have, yep, Deborah's been up all night. Sorry, Deborah. Um, so what else we got? Helen, it's 10. She's in England. Helen's in England. What part of England are you in, Helen? Just remind me. Right. From what I understand, for what specific Bridget Isoms has only Pete Priscilla Bulo's word, do you have the same impression? Uh, I'm not sure, Guyana. I'd, I'd have to do some more homework. Um, we'll see. So we've got, hi, Philomena. Hope you're feeling better today. So then we've got, yeah, as far as we know from what's written in the tabloids or on online, is that she had a massive tax bill and 
She was facing insolvency within 60 days. But we don't know this is fact, do we? This is just what is being said. So it's only an opinion. Um, and Priscilla owned thousands of taxes. Yep. Yeah. Um, and we've, we've all read the same stuff. Philomena at 7 p.m. where she is. So Deborah is saying she doesn't mind because she enjoys doing the research. Okay, let's play some videos. Right, so there's going to be more parts to this, guys, because... So this, if you look, this is an interview that I found. I've broke it down into sort of small bits. But what I liked about it is that it gives you a feel for um, Bridget Cruz's personality. We're going to get, we're going to play one clip at a time, and then we'll just um, comment as we go. Right, let's get the volume on. Becoming 100% auctioneer. Right. So why don't you give us a little bit about your history, what led you to becoming a 100% auctioneer, um, and, and just a little bit about yourself? Well, so it didn't always start that way. In the beginning, growing up as a child, I mean, I come from an auction family. My grandfather was an oil and commodities auctioneer. Uh, distant relatives were in the car auction business, real estate auction business. Uh, involved in politics, oil, or real estate. So we kind of always had this little family group of businesses in, in these certain areas. And as a kid, I said, gee, you know, I don't think I want to do that. I wanted to be a corporate CEO and work for a Fortune 500 company. And I actually went all the way almost in college and got my MBA. And my grandfather, God rest his soul, who did raise me most of my life, because uh, my parents actually chose the entertainment business and they were always traveling, he actually, it was important to him that I paid my own way through college. And I was always so angry about that. You know, gee, Grampy, why are you doing that to me when you can help me? This is so hard. I have to work 100 hours a week and do school full time and have homework and all of that. Uh, and his exact words to me were, Brigitte, it'll be a lot easier for you to wake up at 5 a.m. and get to class on time if you're paying the bills. <laughs> <laughs> It was one of the best things uh, that he could have done for me. So it gave me a really hardcore work ethic. And I was so proud when I graduated. Uh, I actually got hit by a drunk driver my final year. And I lost my, lost my college roommate, actually, in that accident and put me in a wheelchair for six years. Uh, I did finish. I learned to walk again. And after going through all of that, I decided to be an auctioneer, <laughs> so it was uh, it was a very interesting choice. But it, I mean, quite quite a shocking story that she gives there. Uh, she lost her college friend in a car accident, and she was in a wheelchair. But she generally, and then she talks about how um, she really had to get on and do things for herself. Um, she didn't get any shortcuts. So I just want, I thought that gave us a little bit of insight into Bridget Cruz as a person. I'm going to go t try a few more clips here. So who have we got here? We've got Olga. Hi, Olga. Welcome to our family. Um, it's 5 a.m. in Michigan. Olga, have you joined us before? Right. Let's, uh, let's go to the next clip. Industry. Uh, right. And industry uh, and, and I, I'm able to think outside of the box because I've been trained by different industry professionals so I believe that that also really gave me an edge uh, so no we ended up I ended up meeting my husband and I said you know honey we love going to auctions so much but the only person making money is the auctioneer so we really <laughs> you know getting into the business and Lo and behold, you know, he, he did, and, and we started our company out of our garage. So I never wow. used the Cruz name. I never rode coattails. It was important for us to make it our own journey because that's how my grandfather raised me. And like I said, well, it's a great story, isn't it? It's a great story. It's very impressive that she went from a garage to the sort of success she's had. And if you go on to her Bridget Cruz channel, and see the different types of auctions that she's having. It's, 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 it's 
blows your mind. It blows your mind. And she's now mixing with celebrities um, and living the life of a superstar and mixing with the, the rich and famous and even royal families. Right. I don't know. I, uh, Matt, hi, Matt. I believe, I believe her story about starting off in a garage. I really do. I'm sorry. Now, I'm not saying I don't know her. We're not friends, but I get the feeling that she did start with nothing and made a massive success of her life with her partner. Let's go to the next clip. Let's have a look. Fighting spirit, you know, it really did. And I think, honestly, had I not gone through that, I don't know that I would be cut out for the sector that I'm in because it's really tough. It's really, really tough. And I believe that. I think the auction industry is very cutthroat, but also just trying to prove that all these items are genuine must be almost impossible. So let's go to the next clip. Work with and do one thing. Because you work with. I think you work with the Elvis estate, don't you? Isn't that the Presley family and I have a very special relationship? Actually, family members have gone on record even saying that out of all of the auctioneers that have dealt with Elvis artifacts, I mean, I hold more world records on Elvis Presley items sold at auction, but they've also stated on record that they've never seen an auctioneer handle Elvis Presley artifacts with more dignity and grace. And, and that's, I think, a very important piece of this is, you know, it's important to make money, right? I mean, we all like making money, but relationships have to be paramount at some point because God willing, I have another 40, 50 years in me left to work. And, and, you know, I don't just want this deal. I, I want every deal after today. Well, I love that. Uh, it's, it's, um, she's making it very clear really that she had a very, I think had a very good friendship with Priscilla. So it's interesting to know how it all went so wrong. Um, I've, I get a feeling that she has been um, involved with selling artifacts with Priscilla for quite a few years. Um, so how it evolved to the point where they did this massive deal, which as far as I can see, may have also involved Priscilla, the film. Now, I read a few things last night that the idea for the Priscilla film was actually Bridget Cruz's idea and that Bridget Cruz approached Sofia Coppola with this idea, and then everything blossomed from there. Now, is this true? I'd love to know. Bridget Cruz, if you're watching this, is it true that the that Priscilla film was your idea and you approached Sofia Coppola? And then from that, Sofia Coppola liked the idea, brought in Priscilla Presley, and then that is how the film origins began. Now, we got very strong, passionate views about how that film was perceived, how it was produced and directed, at the storyline. You know, many fans are very upset with that storyline, which is, to me, is down to um, Sofia Coppola and Priscilla Presley. So, very interesting. Very interesting. Um, so. Right, I think there might be one more clip. Most collective celebrities. You kind of touched on this earlier, but... Always Elvis. Always. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that till the day I die. I am a die-hard Elvis advocate. When it comes to celebrity artifacts, this man, I'm telling you, he's not going anywhere. As far as popularity, he is absolutely not... He, Elvis is here to stay. I mean, it is unbelievable. The amount of traction and press that we get still on Elvis Presley, I would say a close second, uh, the Beatles. And you oh. know, one very interesting thing that we've noticed in the last 16 to 18 months is Marilyn has always been the front running lady. Okay. Uh, we're not seeing that anymore. So I, I do get the impression she's a, a diehard Elvis fan, but I also can see there's a lot of money to be made from Elvis Presley artifacts as well. So she's an auctioneer. Money is money makes the world go around, yeah? And 
to Olga. Thank you. Thanks, Olga. Thank you very much. I'm so pleased that you watch our channel. So, very interesting, guys. Very interesting. And, you know, one of the things that she says to me is I should speak to her publicist. Now, I know, you know, we talk about the court documents, which I think are all going to be getting released anyway through pub, through press releases, aren't they? Um, now, should I speak to the publicist? I don't. If I did speak to the publicist, what would I, what would I ask? You know, Bridget Cruz's publicist. What would I ask? Um, I suppose it would be Bridget Cruz's version of events against Priscilla's. You know, are they even allowed to talk about things now that there's a lawsuit and a countersuit? Don't know. It's a bit above me, to be honest with you guys. Right, so where are we? Let's see if there's any more. Um, no, so that's it. So just one more showing. If you want to look up Bridget Cruz's uh, auction site, this is the, the logo, and it's literally called Bridget Cruz. Bridget Cruz. And hundreds of videos on there. So I just thought we could, to end this live stream, I think we could just quickly go through the, the latest thing with Priscilla, the elder abuse lawsuit. Just very quickly mention it, and then we can sign off. Let's have a look. So first of all, I think I'll show the news clip if it's here. Let's have a look. Um, let's see if it comes up, guys. Right, yes. I think you sort of have to. Let's have a look. Let's get the volume up on it. Say includes one of a kind items like this black grommet jacket worn by Elvis in 1972. Oh, this lining of this jacket is the one that's in that video. And we don't believe that there was a second one ever made. No, we only have a receipt that he made had one. Uh, which is why Graceland boss Joel Weinshanker says he grew suspicious when they discovered the purported jacket listed for sale by GWS Auctions. We know there was only one made. Uh, and guess what? We have it in our archives. That's Elvis. You know, anything Elvis, somebody's always got an opinion. Brigitte Cruz is the owner of GWS Auctions, the company behind the 2023 listing of the jacket. She says the jacket was authenticated by one of Elvis's tailors. Graceland's saying that they have the grommet jacket, that there's, you know, even video of Elvis wearing the jacket and that the lining on the inside doesn't match the lining of the jacket that you were selling Again, they never raise these concerns. So if they have concerns, they should definitely reach out to me. But Graceland says they have reached out with concerns to Cruz and her former business associate, 79-year-old Priscilla Presley. You were friends as well, you and Priscilla? Yes, very, very close. I, I believe we were very, very, very close at one time. From 2021 to 2023, Priscilla worked with Cruz's auction house to help her sell Elvis memorabilia. So this is what we have today the offering. Questionable items being auctioned by GWS, according to Graceland, include the sale of Elvis's 1976 lost plane. GWS claiming the interior had been designed by the king himself. Did Graceland ever reach out to you and raise concerns about your relationship with Priscilla and her being a part of these auctions? Concerns? I wouldn't say concerns. They were just, you know, inquisitive. They wanted to know more. Graceland says flight logs confirm Elvis never flew on that plane. And a subsequent owner told NBC News that they, not Elvis, designed the red velvet interior. So for Priscilla to be able to recall that plane, that plane was not purchased while she and Elvis were together. So if you could kind of explain that for viewers, why even include her in the conversation about the plane? Just her, her memory. memory. Just her memory. Wayne Shaker says he does not believe Priscilla ever intentionally tried to deceive fans. I believe that she lacked the capacity to make those decisions. Cruz's relationship with Presley has since imploded. Cruz filing a lawsuit last fall, accusing Priscilla of cutting her out of lucrative deals. Now Presley filing a countersuit, accusing Cruz of financial elder abuse. Priscilla has not responded to NBC News's request for comment. Priscilla is and will always be welcome at Graceland. She's not connected business-wise. 
uh, but she's always going to be, you know, connected to the Elvis legacy. He says Graceland's main goal to make sure Elvis lives on authentically. Chloe Malas, NBC News, Memphis, Tennessee. Well, I think that's tonight more that, evidence um, of a widening split. That covers everything to me, really, because it talks about the lawsuits, the counter suit. It talks about um, the relationship between Bridget Cruz and Priscilla. You can sort of see Joel Weishankar there, you know, the boss of EPE, um, is trying to be fair to Priscilla at the end. And he sort of says she's always welcome, but she's nothing to do with us. So is there any anything that you want to say, guys? Because I think we're coming to the end of this now. I think we've we've covered it really well. Um, if Bridget Cruz or her uh, anyone representing her uh, on her YouTube channel as well um, watch this live stream, I just want to thank you for reaching out to our lovely channel, and uh, uh, we do appreciate it because we see what you want. We we want your try. This is from my opinion, Bridget. We I think you're trying to say to the fans that you uh, are an Elvis fan, that you want the best for Elvis's artifacts and auction items, and that you do go out of your way to make sure these items are genuine. You're also saying that the items that you're uh, auctioning are not from Graceland, not from EPE, they're from private collectors. And um, you clearly say that it really matters to you that Elvis fans are happy with how you're handling your company, GWS Auctions. I will say this, Bridget, I'm very impressed with GWS Auctions and the fact that you started from a garage. And to me, you come across very likable. The more I dig in and learn about Bridget Cruz, um, I haven't seen anything yet that makes me think um, anything negative about Bridget Cruz. So I'm just being honest, guys. I'm not trying to kiss Bridget Cruz's ass. I'm just saying from everything I've learned and from the fact that she has reached out to us, and she didn't have to. Remember, Bridget Cruz and her associates don't have to reach out to us and, and try and explain things and tell us the information about NBC, about the letters, uh, about the fact that they feel that part of the news clip was cut out. Um, she didn't have to tell us about the drop box. She didn't have to say um, that, we, that we can look into the documents, you know, the court filing documents. She's almost helped us how we can find out more information, told us where to go. So the way it looks to me, how she's reaching out, let me see if I can get it back up, is she's actually trying to be helpful and trying to be open and honest. That's how I see it, guys. Let's see if I can get it up again. Uh, I always struggle to find these old comments. Oh, here we are, right. All right, so here's a, another thing that she posted. Look, I truly enjoy watching your channel. This is Bridget Cruz. I truly enjoy watching your channel. Can you see that, guys? Right at the top, it's a bit blurry. Bridget Cruz's company. I truly enjoy watching your channel. So she's watching our channel, guys. So I don't think we can say much more. I don't think we can say much more than that. Um, let's see where it goes from here. Let's see if we get more messages from Bridget. Um, Bridget, I'm happy to talk to you anytime. Um, if there's anything that you want me to tell the fans, the Elvis fans on our channel, um, I will be doing another phone live. So you know what a phone live is, guys, when I'm doing the phone. And I think we need to go over all of this again on a phone live and give um, the Elvis fans a chance to go through all this information as well. And I'll tell you why, because we'll, we, we'll only get this, this particular live stream would probably get 500 to 1,000 views. Now, if we do a phone live, we, can have, we could have as many as 50,000 views. So I do think we're going we're gonna to do a phone live on this quite soon, guys. So Team Elvis, if you want to join me on a phone live, and obviously we've got some uh, moderators as well. Um, I'm going to do it pretty soon, pretty soon, before the kids come down. So thanks, everyone. I'll just quickly read some of your comments. Yep, Deborah, we want to see the whole clip. Um, about the movie, I really believe if she and Elvis fans, she should not let the movie turn 
what to, it became. Well, did she have any say? Because I think uh, Sophia Coppola and Priscilla Presley are the creators of the storyline. I think it's possible that Bridget Cruz, uh, it was her, her idea to do this movie, but I don't think it would have been her idea to be negative about Elvis. Because I personally think Bridget Cruz is an Elvis fan. So who knows? Rosemary, I will look that up, Dean Cruz. But from what I can see, that I, I have read a bit about this. Didn't Dean Cruz go bankrupt and left her with nothing? But I, we'd have to look this up. Thanks, thanks, Geo, Soldier Heroes. Thanks, Geo. If that's true, Louis, they might send this to other Elvis channels. That's okay. The more we get out, the better. I have no guys. I'm not a competitive person. I want. I'm happy for any channel to do really well. Like, um, you know, what we got? Like, obviously, Rhonda's channel and Shauna's channel, and there's other channels. I, I, I'm not, it's not all about me. I want us all together to promote Elvis's legacy and defend Elvis Presley. Hi, Mitch Dan. Mick Dan, hi, welcome to our channel. We are signing off now, sorry. Um, so Matt says he sees a woman with a knack of making a quick buck. I agree. She's... She's a smart lady. She's become a multi-millionaire from nothing. I don't care what her history is. The success that she's had with GWS auctions is phenomenal. <laughs> phenomenal. Yeah. Thanks for all your help, Deborah. So, anyway, that's it, guys. I think we've covered it really well. There's 29 people watching. Please subscribe. It's really important. Um, if you want to become a member, it's only a pound a month. It's nothing. It's pennies. But it really means a lot to me because it shows me that you like what I'm doing. I don't need your money, guys. But I do want members. I do want members, which is why I've set it at such a low amount. A quid a month. It's nothing. But then I get members and we grow. And only 78% of you guys subscribe. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Um, it's very important. And if any of you want to buy me a coffee, just click the coffee button, guys. Thank you for the coffee. Seriously. Um, bye, everyone. And I will see you soon. And Team Elvis, Team Elvis, we are going to be live soon doing the phone live. We're going to be live soon doing the phone live. Yep, we've had a great discussion. And all of you guys all over the world, in many countries, this is a global live stream around the world, and we are proud to defend Elvis Presley. Fans want the truth. Defend Elvis Presley. Fans want the truth. That's what we're all about. Team Elvis, you're the best. You're the best. Thanks, guys. Love to all of you. You are my family. Love to all of you. You all mean so much to me. Really appreciate everything you do. Thanks, guys.